Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. I'm going to be going over pretty much everything I've learned about Sparkle over the past week. I know a number of you have been anticipating uh, my thoughts about how she performs after her release. We're going to go over everything. First, I'm going to update you guys on what changed with my tier list that I made specific to her. There are some changes now that I've had a better hands-on experience and I've tested her with a plethora of characters. Uh, we're also going to um, go over a showcase with DHIL on floor 12 first half it's a zero cycle but who cares about the zero cycle i love uh you guys if you've been keeping up with the channel you know i like my showcases because there's a great deal of insight to learn there's a lot of like strategizing and thought processes as well as meticulous details that people can learn from when i'm walking you through the stuff i'm doing and ultimately the goal is for you to hopefully understand how to play the character on a deeper level after watching that showcase. Uh, I also wanna go over uh, slow sparkle versus fast sparkle and what I learned based off my experience. Do you need her signature light cone or not? Um, should you skip her for Acheron? Does she synergize with Acheron? I'm not kidding, I wanna go over everything. So let's go ahead and try to get it all done in this one video. All right, so this is gonna be my updated tier list. Um, I'll try and edit in the previous tier list just so you guys can look at that and see what my initial thoughts were to what they are now. Um, so let's go ahead and start off. These three units right here, based off my personal experience in testing, they are, they are legitimately God tier with Sparkle. What I learned, and before we get into an uh, Imbibitor Lune, uh, these two units right here, Ting Yun and Ron May. Why do, why do you like them smack more than like a Bronyer or any of the other units? Well, both of them can one turn ult, meaning as soon as you go into battle, their first turn, their ult's up. Ting Yun's is like negative turn ult. Her ult's up before the battle even begins. So that's the best version. What I've come to find out is Sparkle's not entirely unplayable without it, but I would never run Sparkle without it. And if she's not running it, then I need another harmony unit uh, unit to run it. What I'm talking about is dance, dance, dance. We'll refer to it as triple D. When I'm running my sparkle and, and when I did all the testing I did with the number of compositions, I came to find out that running her uh, with dance, 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 whether it be on herself or with another harmony unit is the best way to maximize her performance on team compositions. These two units right here can literally pop dance, dance, dance going into battle. Ting Yun does it the best, Ron May does it the second best, everybody else is meh because you, they can do, only do it on their next turn. What's crazy is that she has more speed tuning problems than Ron, uh, Branya, in my personal opinion. Speed tuning is everything with your sparkle. If your sparkle is not making your DPS go three times, you're playing a garbage sparkle. That's pretty much the best way to put it. So there's two ways to run her. You run her where she goes three times because you have 161 speed on her with a sprightly Von Wack and a dance, dance, dance on her or somebody else with the freaking uh, wind set. Like it's so much action value advancement, so much speed being given to her that she's going three times, right? Which is very hard to do. And honestly, unrelatable to the majority of the, of the uh, community. Or you run her a slow uh, sparkle, where my sparkle sits around 118 to 124 speed, right? But I run her next to a Ron May who gives her 10% speed boost, and Ron May's rocking a dance, 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 which then advances her forward, enabling her to go two times during the cycle. And in those two times, they're specifically put to the point where she's going after my DPS goes first. That's a lot to explain that will make sense when I go into the showcase, but ultimately, I've come to find out these two units work infinitely better with Sparkle than everyone else. Now, does this suck to hear? Yeah, why? Because they are already running the entire game. The Ting Yun Ron May meta just never goes away. Although I will say Ting Yun does finally have a character coming around the corner who does not need her whatsoever, which is a good thing. But I have found the best results with these two Harmony characters, okay? Moving on to the DPSs. From my personal experience, not a single DPS in the game is touching this man's power next to Sparkle. His, his power next to Sparkle is just, it's ridiculous. I was so on the mark about him becoming meta again. He's absolutely the strongest DPS in the game now. 
thanks to Sparkle. Only the DHIL cucks will try to convince you that he's always been the strongest. That shit is not true. Most of y'all paid to win because you had a skill issue and took him to E2. So E2 DHIL is not the, the, the gold standard, all right? It's E0 units. You can get away with a signature light cone, but for the most part, that's about it. I just want to establish that because I can't tell you how many times these, these dudes were lying to themselves trying to tell you that he's stronger than Jing Liu. But that's another conversation. Right now, though, with Sparkle, absolutely. Strongest DPS in the game again. He is back in business. Uh, splitting the seas open like Moses, so to speak. Now, these units are actually incredibly strong with Sparkle too, but just not to the degree that DHIL is. They're a notch under. QQ, Sila, and Jing Yuan are incredibly strong. Uh, the problem with um, Dr. Ratio, he's actually a little bit less valuable with these three units, but he's still S tier. But the problem with him is he needs a debuffer. And so with Sparkle coming into the mix, she's gonna take up one of your slots. And if you're running a sustainer, well, now you have Sparkle and what? Silver Wolf or Pella? That's an awkward composition. Whereas you ideally one-on-one -on -one ratio with either Ting Yun or Ron May, because those two work incredibly well with, with DHIL. So she needs dance, dance, dance and speed tuning which means you're gonna have to run her with another harmony unit if you're not putting it on her. With Ratio, he can't run two harmony units and a debuffer unless you're really getting sweaty. So he kind of like suffers from needing a debuffer. It's like, we only have a four man team here, but he does synergize incredibly well with Sparkle, right? If you're getting sweaty, great freaking synergy with Sparkle. Uh, Jing Yuan got incredibly buffed by Sparkle. This man's damage is absolutely insane. I think I did 500,000 damage with my Jing Yuan stand next to Sparkle on a triple buff comp. Uh, and I'm not even, I don't even have a signature light cone. I have the battle pass light cone. Furthermore, this current MOC doesn't even have a buff that's buffing his Lightning Lord or his ultimate. It's just basic attack and skill, which is pretty much not useless, but it's not really that valuable for Jing Yuan. So Bro's performance has been spectacular with Sparkle. He might even uh, like, you know, he might he might be right here in this spot, honestly. I, he's not on the level of DHIL, but he is incredibly strong and got much stronger. I don't know why my nose always fucking itches when I start recording. I don't know what it is, like maybe like vibration. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, anyways, QQ and Sila, I, since I haven't spent a good degree of time with them, I can't exactly tell you how much stronger they are, but QQ is pretty much DHIL except Gamba, right? And Sila, quantum unit, there's just no way it's like it's not you don't need to be like a god tier three crafter to know that Sila with sparkle is good so these units i want to be clear here if you don't have these units i think sparkle is easily skippable if you don't have these four units she really is broken with these four units outside of these four units she's good She's, she's, she's usable. The reason ratio is not inside of this box is because you literally don't need uh, sparkle for ratio to function, not even function maximally. Like Ron May and Ting Yun, one or the other with the ratio, and then you slap on a silver for Pella and bro is popping off. Or you can run them all three if you wanna do a hyper buff, but he does not need sparkle in any scope of the imagination. She's just nice to have with your ratio. But everyone else, is meh and from what i've tested and i've tested a lot of them oh except i don't own argenti but i've tested a shit ton of these pe these characters and every time i was like eh, yeah it's all, i mean it's all right it's all right you know so i wanted to convey this to you guys so that you know maybe the people who are on the fence should i pull for sparkle if you have these four you probably should if you're waiting for acheron you should skip your sparkle if you don't have these four but does she synergize with acheron here's my answer to this she synergizes with Acheron on a sweaty level. If you aren't trying to zero cycle, uh, I think you should skip her for, Ac or like not worry about having her next to your Acheron. If you're not trying to zero cycle, who gives a damn? If you are trying to zero cycle, Acheron's gonna be one of those units that's gonna be skill point greedy and her skill incentivizes you to spam it. Anybody who's skill point greedy pretty much is gonna synergize with Sparkle, right? That's why those other four units I showed you are so strong. So, but on a sweaty level, you don't need the Sparkle because Acheron has things about her kit that incentivize you to run debuffers. I'm just gonna say that without going into the to the leak territory. She has kits on her, she has things about her kit that incentivize you to run debuffers. That's pretty much all I can say about that. So, because of that, you don't need a Sparkle but with any scope of the imagination. But if you're trying to do like triple buff zero cycle get sweaty content she's absolutely going to synergize with your uh your acheron so that's worth mentioning i know you guys are thinking that 
I, I had to mention that just so you know what's good in that regard. Everybody else is literally meh, I'm telling you. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. These other units, bro, is, is okay, all right? <laughs> the next thing I wanna go over quickly is the DHIL showcase. We're gonna go over all the variables and all the meticulous little details that you guys need to know to play Sparkle properly. Then, after the showcase, we'll go over, of course, the builds we have, but then I wanna talk to you about the other option of speed tuning her to go three times. So let's go ahead and get into this. First of all, we got Ting Yun, Sparkle, Rob May, and DHIL. So this is an incredibly sweaty induced composition where you need to absolutely have maximum information about the enemies you're going up against. Otherwise, you're just gonna get clapped. Uh, but yeah, double buff with Ting Yun, Sparkle uh, buff, Rob May buff, and then open up with Danny Boy. And he needs every bit of these skill points. So first thing that's important, spam Ting Yun ult. Y'all have heard me say this a hundred times. I'm gonna continue to say it for the newer people who are trying to learn. Uh, this is to activate dance, dance, dance. My Ting Yun is rocking a dance, dance, dance. By activating it as soon as we go into battle, it advances my whole team forward Then to prevent the enemy from going uh, before we do, number one. Number two, it sets up the rotation and the sequence of which my characters are going to go. My Imbiber de Lune is rocking an attack percent boot, meaning he's slow. He cannot go twice outside of casting this dance, dance, dance. So we cast that so that he can at least go twice during the cycle. That's rule number one, right? So we're going to battery him up. Now his ult's up too, which is also important. We put Benediction buff on Imbiber de Lune. This is incredibly important. Notice we auto attack and spam ult with Ron May. This is to, we're already setting up all our buffs to go straight into our DHIL. But the thing I want you guys to pay close attention to is the sequence. Notice right now, my sparkle is going before my DHIL. However, benediction buff given to DHIL, then he cast his ult. His ult is gonna proc the benediction buff for my Ting Yun and make him jump in front of my sparkle. Now I have a perfect recipe for DHIL to go three times before the cycle ends. It'll all make sense. Here you go. And Ron May gives everyone a flat 10% speed boost too, which is also cracked and incredibly undervalued. So now my DHIL is in front of my sparkle. We're going to do a fully charged basic attack here using up three skill points. Sparkle is now going to advance him forward. This enables my DHIL to not only go a second time, it sets him up to go a third time because now Sparkle is going to go a second time. And, that's, and this is why it's incredibly important to have dance, dance, dance on the team. That enables me to do this with a slow Sparkle. You'll see the build at the end here. Okay, so that guy, I just want to educate y'all, he missed his debuff on my DHIL. That dude, when he does that AoE attack, it debuffs uh, DHIL and makes him do 20% less damage, but he actually didn't land the debuff, which is huge. All right, so we do. this is our second level three fully charged attack, 283,000. He can actually hit for 300k, but I missed a crit. <laughs> All right, so now Sparkle's advancing him forward again. Boom, notice she put him right inside of the cycle before the cycle ends. Now this is important. Right now, I have three skill points. Notice I didn't cast my Sparkle ult. The reason I didn't cast it is because our ult gives me back four skill points. If I cast it now, I waste an extra skill point. So what I do is I use this opportunity to re-up Benediction on my DHIL before it expires, right? So we're gonna use Benediction. And now we're gonna cast the Hanabi Sparkle Ultimate to replenish all four skill points. This is what I'm talking about by providing you as much details as possible so that you know how to play her properly. That is a massive little detail that if you mess it up, you'll find yourself not being able to fully charge with your DHIL on the next turn when it really counts because you messed that up. So right here, we only do two charges because we need every bit of those skill points on the next turn. And those two charges, thankfully, were enough to kill both units. So we only did a level two charge right there. Now his ult up, Ting Yun's ult up, this is beautiful. We still have Sparkle's buff activated. This is absolutely beautiful. We open up with this ult, which is gonna reproc Benediction, boosting the speed of my DHIL. He has Benediction from Ting Yun on. So boom, then we activate Ting Yun ult to battery up DHIL while also, again, reactivating Dance Dance Dance, making my whole team a lot faster. See how they jumped in front of the team? Uh, so this stuff is huge, man. So now 
we have a perfect setup going into this first cycle again. It's important for all of that to happen and play out like that as well. So we're gonna auto attack 20, 27,000 damage. Level three, fully basic attack from DHIL on uh, Japart. All right, so we're at 232,000 right there. That was nice. Notice we're out of our uh, our Ron May buff, so we have to reproc skill. We have four skill points remaining. Now I'm gonna advance him forward again. Boom, so he now has the crit damage boost. This is RNG on who this guy hits. You can't control it. That was bad luck. He hit DHIL two times. Normally he hits him and hits somebody else. He hit him both times. That was just bad luck. Uh, thankfully, he didn't hit my DHIL. That would have been GG's if he did. So now level three charge again from DHIL. Level three charge. I told y'all this was why he was gonna be cracked because I said Sparkle was gonna enable him to level three charge three times, which she is. She's letting him level three charge three times. So we pop his ult and we full send it to make sure that he gets every bit of Sparkle's buff before it expires, because now it expired, um, which is unfortunate. The buff, the, the ultimate buff. Uh, notice we actually passed up on uh, re-upping Benediction because we're running, we're getting scarce on skill points here. So we have two charges on our DHIL and then we're about to auto attack with Ron May. So now we have four skill points in total. Finally, she brings DHIL back to the front one more time and he finishes the entire run with another level three fully basic attack, fully charged basic attack, boom, GG's. So you'll, know, you'll come to find out that I made every move count. And if you don't know what you're doing with Sparkle, she's gonna be horrible because you don't know what the hell you're doing. You have to speed tune her appropriate so that she's doing things to enable your DPS to go three times. If they're not going three times, your DPS is booty cheeks. So let's go ahead and look at my Ting Yun here. She's uh, sitting at 154 speed and uh, she has 124 energy recharge with a DDD S5. That's very important. She's rocking Sprightly Von Wack. Now, what I'll tell you is this particular build on Ting Yun can make her go three times in a single cycle, uh, easily, effortlessly. Uh, but sometimes she never even gets to that third turn because the, the enemies die. So it can be overkill at times. You might wanna run broken kill on her in those scenarios. That might've been one, I actually probably missed it. Uh, she's E6. My Hanabi Sparkle is E0. She's rocking her signature light cone and she has 118 speed. This is very important because obviously the video is about her. Does she need her signature light comp? No, she doesn't need it, but God damn it, that 40%, wait, 10% crit, 28% crit damage, that's 20, no, almost 50% crit value, 50 crit value, 50 point crit value, yeah. So crit rate, for those who don't know, you times it times two, and it, that's, that's its crit value. So 10% crit rate and 28% crit damage, it's a 48% in total crit value. That's her signature light cone, which is absolutely atrocious. Not only that, it gives her a flat crit damage. So I thought this light cone was way too valuable to pass up because it's applicable to the entire party. I can find a number of ways to use it. It doesn't have to be on her. It works best on her, but you can put it on a shit. I don't know, Branya. You can put it on a Ron May damn near, honestly. But if you're gonna run her signature light cone, then somebody else has to be a harmony unit because they have to run dance, dance, dance since she's not running it. That is incredibly important to know. If you're gonna rock her signature light cone, you better make sure somebody else is a harmony unit rocking dance, 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 so that your party is being functional. Uh, so uh, you have to take that in consideration. Now, why is she at 118 speed? She needs to be uh, slower than my DHIL, which he's at 110 speed, which means she's faster than him. But thanks to Ting Yun giving him benediction, once he pops his ult, he then becomes faster than my sparkle. I know that's confusing. It was goddamn near confused my damn self. <laughs> well, all you need to know is that Ting Yun works incredibly well with sparkle when your DPS can be fully charged on their ultimate from Ting Yun's buff. If your DPS cannot be fully charged, that means they're not gonna be able to pop their ult to manipulate their speed and put them in front of sparkle. In that case, now you have to run a three turn sparkle. This is what I was telling you about the nuances of running sparkle appropriately. If you're, if, let's say Dr. Ratio, prime example. If you use Ting Yun's ult on Dr. Ratio, his ult doesn't fill up automatically, which means you're not gonna be able to pop his ult before sparkle goes. So now your DHIL is gonna go after sparkle, which is gonna scuff your entire rotation up. Now there is a way around it, a pay to win option. If you have Ron May's light cone, 
This changes everything. Ron May's Light Kong gives the entire party 10 energy upon entering battle, which then allows Ting Yun to fill up Dr. Ratio's ultimate, right? Broken Light Kong. But if you don't have that, now you got a speed tuning problem on your hands and you're gonna have to abandon slow sparkle and run very fast sparkle, which is 161 speed or no, I'll say 155 to 161 speed on your sparkle with a sprightly Von Wack and somebody's rocking a dance, dance, dance. That is what's going to be needed to go three times only on the first cycle. If you want to go three times on the first cycle and the second cycle, you're going to need the wind set on your sparkle as, as her four piece set, because it's going to advance her forward. Now you have Sprightly Von Wack, 155 to 161 speed, uh, dance, 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 and the wind set. That's so much action and value advancement that she can now consistently go three times on both cycles, which is huge. I know that was very long winded guys, but it's it's so important to understand on, a, on how to play her functionally. Oh yeah, bro, my, my sparkle over here more tankier than my tanks, bro. Let's see if we can go back to that. Bro, she has 7,000 HP, guys, my sparkle. Her HP threshold is actually nuts when you run her slow because you can just run an HP boot or you can run a defense boot. It doesn't have to be HP, but she's 888. Um, I'm rocking broken kill in between. Crit damage here, HP here. It can be defense as well. It's up to you, whichever has the better stats, HP here or defense, and then an energy recharge rope. Uh, and then she's E0. Now, my Ron May's at 130 speed. I had to run this because my dhio is so skill point greedy that this was the this was the fucking move i had to run this bad boy she's sitting at 130 speed with a uh, sprightly von wack so i'm running her slow but not slow enough but uh it, it gets the job done so i'm not really tripping 121 energy recharge her break effect was 166 but after you go into battle it's 166 plus 50 so uh 216 um traces 1099 we worked on putting her up she's rocking uh sprightly von wack and yeah, those, that's her build. My, my, my Rame is always the same. DHIL, here's the cook. Here's the cook. I don't have a signature light cone and my DHIL damn sure ain't no E1, let alone E2 or, you know, vice versa. He's 75 over 176. And yep, yep, your your eyes aren't fooling you. I'm rocking Gene Lee's light cone on him. Here was the cook. When the, when the whole team gets hit, since I'm not rocking any healers, I can actually activate this light cone's full conditions enabling him to really do some damage uh that was the cook to get the zero cycle it was actually insane but he has 108 speed and three 3411 attack but the reason he was still able to go in front of my sparkle is thanks to my ting Yun benediction buff and him spamming his ult so it's very important to, to understand the nuances of how this shit works uh so that's him <laughs> that shit was a hell of a cook um he's 899 he has one of those kits though his uh his talent and his skill you get severe diminishing returns on the scaling of them. I don't recommend 10, 10, 10 in your DHIL in case, unless you're just an absolute fanboy. Uh, he's rocking, no, no shot. He's rocking fire damage, right? Fuck no. Okay, okay. Boy, I was about to say this dude is cracked. Yeah, he's rocking attack percent. You can rock imaginary or attack percent. I've actually tried them both. Damage is almost identical. Uh, so attack percent here and attack percent rope and attack percent boots. That's pretty much the, the cook there. And he's rocking on set imaginary. Uh, okay, and that's every that's all the builds. Now I want to show you what you could do if you were to run your sparkle fast. So let's go ahead and lob a log onto the game, and I'm gonna show you how I run her fast, and then we'll give a quick little example, and then that'll be wraps. Okay, so I want to show you guys a scenario where you're running a DPS that's not going to have their ult up, right? If they're not gonna have their ult up, and basically you're not running Ting Yun either, you're gonna have to change some things up. Now. I have her signature light cone, and I'm not going to take off her signature light cone to put on broken dance, dance, dance. Basically, her light cone is insane. That means keep the light cone, but run another harmony unit and put dance, dance, dance on them. This is why I told y'all both Ting Yun and Ron May are broken with her. So Ron May is going to rock the dance, dance, dance to circumvent her not meeting the speed threshold thanks to not having dance, dance, dance. So what we're going to do is we're gonna build her up to 155 speed. We're gonna put on a sprightly Von Wack on her and then dance, dance, dance combined with that is gonna enable my Sparkle to go three times. Because of that, my, uh, my DPS, my main DPS, they can just have 112 speed. They don't need to have uh, a ton of speed. I will take care of the rest because of this combo. Sparkle with Ting Yun or Ron May is a nasty combo literally because of this. So, uh, he's at 112 speed. 
These two, again, 155 Sprightly Von Wack, and then Dance, 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 plus Ron May's Base Speed Threshold. Let's go ahead and go into part into the battle and show you how this shit works. Uh, we're doing this live. We're doing this in real time, guys, all right? So let's go ahead and do this just to slow them down. Pop technique, pop technique, and let's just slap his ass upside the head with a book uh, for being so damn stubborn during the Bella Bob arc. <laughs> all right, so... Now that my sparkle has that combo set up, I don't have to worry about shit. I just, I'm just gonna keep advancing Dr. Ratio over and over and over again. So let's just go ahead, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I just wanna show y'all that it works. So that's uh, one time from Dr. Ratio, right? Now we're going to uh, pop her skill, activate Dance Dance Dance, very important, right? So activate Dance 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 right here, boom. And now we're gonna spam this. Slow him down. Let's go ahead and advance Dr. Ratio. Second time Dr. Ratio is going, right? Go ahead and pop ult. Boom. There we go. Very nice. And let's go ahead and do this again. Dr. Ratio ult should be up. Boom. It is. GG's. Let's, let's just put it on this guy over here. Um, I'm going to get trolled by this dude right here, I believe. Uh, yeah. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I just want to show you all that it works. Okay, and now Welt Daddy's gonna pop his ult. This is a beautiful combo. Oh my god. I, I was testing this composition off screen, by the way, guys. Beautiful combo. Right ratio follows up again. Boom. And now, see what I'm saying? Both of these two went three times Dr. Ratio and Sparkle. And that's thanks to that combo. Sprightly Von Wack, 155 speed or more. And then the second unit, which could be Ron May or Tinyon. Dance, dance, dance is the party enabling this combo to happen. Now, both of these guys are uh, are getting sent to the shadow realm. Um, who should I pop? Should I pop? You know what? Let's just let's get him because he's a real dick. Let's get him out of there. Ink. And then, you know, they all die. We go into the next fight. OK, I just wanted you guys to see that. Now, if you that's not going to work again a second time because Sprightly Von Wack only uh, activates on the first cycle. If you want it to happen a second time, well, now you need to put your win set on Hanabi Sparkle. And then your Ron May needs to be able to activate Dance 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 again during that next cycle before it ends. So win set and uh, a Ron May, and then you can make her go three times again. So that's gonna wrap it up for Sparkle. I hope you guys learned a great deal. That was everything I've learned when I was cooking in a lab with her. Um, I'll probably be doing more showcases because there's more things to cook up. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Gotcha Smacks uh, Sparkle Guide video. Peace, love, and happiness. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.